In the heart of almost every large galaxy, something extraordinary lurks. An invisible monster, a cosmic vacuum cleaner of unimaginable power. We call them supermassive black holes. These are not your everyday black holes, the remnants of collapsed stars. These are behemoths, millions, even billions of times the mass of our sun. How do these gravitational leviathans form? It's a question that has puzzled astronomers for decades. The answer lies in the earliest chapters of the universe, a story of cosmic evolution on a grand scale. To understand supermassive black holes, we must first grasp the nature of their smaller cousins. A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Imagine the Earth squeezed into the size of a marble. That's the kind of density we're talking about. Black holes form when massive stars die. As the star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer support its own weight. The core collapses in on itself, creating an object of immense density and gravity, a black hole. Supermassive black holes take this concept to the extreme. These gravitational behemoths reside at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. They can have masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun. Their event horizons, the point of no return for anything that crosses them, can span billions of miles. But how do these cosmic titans form? The death throes of a single star can't explain their existence. The answer likely lies in a combination of factors playing out over vast stretches of time and space. One leading theory for the formation of supermassive black holes is direct collapse. This model suggests that under the right conditions, massive clouds of gas in the early universe could bypass the usual star formation process and collapse directly into black holes. In the early universe, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, Giant clouds of hydrogen and helium gas swirled through space. These primordial clouds were the building blocks of the first cosmic structures, and their behavior under gravity was crucial in shaping the universe. These clouds, pristine and untouched by the heavier elements forged in stars, could have collapsed directly into black holes. Without the presence of metals and other elements, the cooling processes were different, allowing for a more straightforward collapse. Imagine a cloud of gas, a million times the mass of the Sun, collapsing in on itself. The sheer mass and gravitational pull would be enough to overcome any internal pressure, leading to a direct collapse. No supernova, no stellar remnants, just pure gravitational collapse on an epic scale. This process is different from the formation of smaller black holes, which typically result from the death of massive stars. This process could have created the seeds of supermassive black holes, seeds that would grow into the cosmic monsters we observe today. Over billions of years, these seeds would accrete more matter, merging with other black holes and absorbing gas and stars, eventually becoming the supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. The direct collapse model helps explain how supermassive black holes could form so quickly in the early universe providing a foundation for understanding the rapid growth of these enigmatic objects. As we continue to study the cosmos, this model remains a key piece in the puzzle of cosmic evolution. Seeds of darkness, stellar collapse and beyond. Another possibility involves the seeds of supermassive black holes being sown by the first generation of stars. These stars, often referred to as Population 3 stars, were incredibly massive and composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium. They were the first to light up the universe, and their immense size meant they had short yet incredibly bright lifespans. These stars, massive and short-lived, would have exploded as supernovae, leaving behind black holes. The supernova explosions were so powerful that they could outshine entire galaxies for a brief period. The remnants of these explosions, the black holes, were the seeds from which supermassive black holes could grow. Over time, these stellar mass black holes could have merged and accreted surrounding gas, gradually growing larger and larger. 
the process of accretion, where black holes consume gas and dust from their surroundings, is a critical mechanism in their growth. As they consume more material, they become more massive, and their gravitational pull becomes stronger. Imagine a cosmic dance of black holes, drawn together by their mutual gravity. This dance is not a gentle waltz, but a violent and energetic interaction. The black holes orbit each other, losing energy through the emission of gravitational waves, which are ripples in the fabric of space-time. As they spiral closer, they eventually merge in a cataclysmic event, releasing a torrent of energy in the form of gravitational waves. These waves travel across the universe, carrying with them the signature of the black hole's final moments before merging. The detection of these waves has opened a new window into the study of the cosmos. These mergers, along with the constant feasting on surrounding gas, could have propelled the growth of supermassive black holes. Over billions of years, these black holes could grow to millions, or even billions of times, the mass of our Sun, becoming the behemoths that reside at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Feasting and Growing The Accretion Disk Engine once a supermassive black hole forms, it doesn't just sit there. It continues to grow, devouring anything that ventures too close. As gas and dust fall towards the black hole, they form a swirling disk of superheated matter called an accretion disk. This disk glows brightly, emitting radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. It's this radiation that allows us to detect supermassive black holes, even though we can't see the black holes themselves. The accretion disk is the engine that powers the growth of these cosmic giants. Galactic Architects – Shaping the Cosmic Web Supermassive black holes aren't just passive eaters. They play an active role in the evolution of galaxies. The energy released by their accretion disks can heat up surrounding gas, preventing it from cooling and forming new stars. This feedback mechanism can regulate star formation in galaxies, shaping their overall structure and evolution. Imagine a supermassive black hole as the conductor of a galactic orchestra. Its influence can be felt across vast distances, shaping the destiny of stars and galaxies alike. Mysteries remain. Unraveling the early universe. The early universe is a realm of profound mysteries and cosmic wonders, a time when the first stars and galaxies began to take shape. While we've made significant progress in understanding supermassive black holes, mysteries remain. These colossal entities, with masses millions to billions of times that of our Sun, continue to baffle scientists. How did the very first supermassive black holes form so early in the universe? This question is at the forefront of modern astrophysics. Were they born from the collapse of massive primordial stars, or did they grow rapidly from smaller black holes? What role did they play in the evolution of the first galaxies? These black holes could have influenced the formation and growth of galaxies, shaping the structure of the universe as we know it. These are questions that astronomers are still grappling with. Through observations and simulations, they are piecing together the puzzle of our cosmic origins. To unravel these mysteries, we need to peer further back in time, towards the dawn of the cosmos. By studying the light from the earliest stars and galaxies, we can gain insights into the conditions that led to the formation of supermassive black holes. New telescopes and instruments are being built that will allow us to do just that, revealing the secrets of the early universe and the formation of these enigmatic objects. These advanced observatories will push the boundaries of our knowledge, offering unprecedented views of the cosmos and helping us understand the origins of the universe. Conclusion A universe of wonder awaits. Supermassive black holes are awe-inspiring objects that challenge our understanding of the universe. They are windows into the most extreme environments in the cosmos, where gravity reigns supreme. While we've learned much about these enigmatic objects, there's still much we don't know. The quest to understand their formation and evolution is a journey into the heart of the universe itself, a journey filled with wonder and discovery. Join the exploration. Engage and discover.
What are your thoughts on supermassive black holes and their mysteries? Share your questions, comments and ideas below. Don't forget to subscribe for more cosmic explorations and fascinating discoveries.